Hi there, it's Dave here from davestravelpages.com and this is my end of month monthly goals review for August 2018. But before we do that, I'm going to take you on a quick ride down to the coast. Awesome, I made it to the coast as you can see. And that was the ride, uh, a time-lapse version of a ride. That was from my house in the suburbs of Athens down to the coast. And it probably gave you a little bit of a taste of what cycling in Athens is like, which is a little bit chaotic as you can probably tell. I'm often asked um, what about cycling infrastructure for Athens and things like that, and that it's non-existent. And the respect for cyclists is almost zero as well. And what you, that camera didn't pick up was that towards the end there, somebody actually bumped into the back of the bike with their car as I was stationary. I checked the bike, there's nothing wrong, but uh, if you know of a capital city in Europe that has worse cycling infrastructure and respect for cyclists, then please leave in the comments below, but I don't think there is any. Anyway, enough of the moaning. I'm now gonna get on with the end of month monthly goals report for August 2018. And I'm walking along the beach, but the sun's probably shining a little bit, so I might squint a little bit. But I'm sure you can live with that, can't you? So let's start with um, some easy goals. Uh, well, actually, let's start off with the concept behind me setting the goals. So what I do is I set goals in each area of my life, and these include financial, travel, health, well-being, those sorts of goals. The only um, goals that I report back on in these videos are to do with uh, cycling, health, well-being, and travel. Uh, I leave the financial stuff out of it. Um, the reason I set it, uh, these goals in each area of my life is just so that I can tell that I've made progress uh, month to month. I mean, it's always nice to get a little bit better, isn't it? Fractional gains and all that. So let's start with the cycling goals that I set myself. Uh, as I'm in a cycling mood, having just cycled down to the coast. So I set two cycling goals for this year. Uh, one was that I would easily cycle 200 kilometers every month. And August was easy, I smashed it. So I'm in training for a bike tour, which starts in a few days time. And I probably did something like 300, 350 kilometers for the month. So this was very easy. Uh, the second goal to do with cycling was that I would take two, uh, sorry, I would do one month long bike tour in 2018 and I think it was three mini tours throughout the year as well. So the month long bike tour was already done and I did that when I cycled the Hercules bike tour of the Peloponnese. And I've done two other mini bike tours out of Athens. Uh, the last bike tour that I do, which will be in a, a few days time, that will take care of the rest of, of that goal. So I, I'm pretty happy with the way that goal has gone throughout the year. And I was also very happy that I got two goals, uh, two of the bike tours out earlier on in the year as well. So I think that helped. Let's have a look at another health goal, which is touching my toes. This is an awesome one. It's kind of almost a pathetic goal really. Um, but uh, yeah, I can't touch my toes at the minute. And the goal was to be able to touch my toes by the end of the year. I still can't touch my toes at the moment, but I did feel that I'd made a lot of progress this month. I felt a lot more flexible and it actually made me feel a lot better, like a, a lot lighter. So I'm happy with the progress, although I still can't touch my toes at the moment. Another goal was to uh, easily read for 30 hours per month. This is a goal I've struggled with. Uh, this month I've, I've read about 15 to 20 hours in the month. A lot of that was uh, research to do with the Asia trip, a backpacking trip I've got coming up, which I will mention much later on. I'm gonna get the bike tour out of the way and then explain what the Asia backpacking tour is all about. So let's say that I've read 20 to, yeah, 15 to 20 hours for the month. What other goals were there? Ah, I will easily visit three new countries this year. Uh, visited Poland and I have visited, what was the other country? Luxembourg. And that was very nice. Uh, I've not visited a third new country uh, in August. I'm hoping if I can visit a new country, it will probably be Myanmar and it will be in December. But we'll see how that one goes. I'm not super bothered about that one because I know that I've got a, a backpacking trip through Asia coming up, uh, which will last from November through till March. So. 
if I don't get it done this year, that's fine. It can just roll over to next year. The idea was to see, to experience new things. That was the, that was the theory behind the goal of going to a new country. It wasn't just to tick it off a list. It was to experience new things. And you know, I think planning a backpacking trip, even if I haven't done it this year, solves, solves that goal, so to speak. I think that's all the goals that I can remember. Uh, if there were any more, because I think there's 10 goals, and I'm not sure how many I've mentioned here. If there were any more, I'm going to leave them in the comments section below. Uh, and that's all I've got to say for now. So if you like the video, please thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will catch you in the next one. Cheers for now.